back here doing this. Yeah. Think so. But not just the hand flying, it has to do with Henry wasn't a great airplane. It's just a quantum leap, we needed it, and uh, it's neat that you're, you don't know what, you don't I don't know what this really <laughs> means. This is the combat capability that this uh, airplane brings us. Iran did come to the table with the United States and other countries to sign an agreement. That is, that is a change in behavior, so I think I don't want to. I don't want to underplay that. Uh, in terms of what we're seeing outside of that, I don't know that we've seen a change in behavior. We work together with the Air Force, uh, with the Army, and with the other uh, joint services and our coalition partners to be able to ensure we have enough air power that, that would have come off the aircraft carrier for this period of time. Now, I wouldn't want to sustain this for a long period, but for the period of time that we're, we're gone, I think it's, uh, we've been able to mitigate that and provide the air power that Sean McFarland and his team need at JTF, the Joint Task Force, uh, doing the work in Iraq and Syria. The, the GCC is working hard on another problem in the AOR, and that's in Yemen. Uh, so uh, they are doing, doing some work, but they're doing it there. They're also still participating in the coalition against, uh, uh, especially in Syria. As you know, there's 60 nations in that coalition now, and they're all participating in the way they can. Uh, some can't, can't give uh, airplanes, and some can't give combat, combat forces or training, but they've been able to help us with the finances, the flow of foreign fighters, and other things. We were, we've been in, we're in four conflicts in the region right now. But throughout those conflicts, that flow through the Straits hasn't been impeded. And it hasn't been impeded because not only us, but the other coalition navies are out there each and every day. Uh, you can't take that for granted. Carrier here or not carrier here, we have to be out there to ensure that happens because you know it's been threatened to be closed by others in the past. Uh, but it hasn't been. 